Oh, did you finally decide to answer your damn phone? Are you done sulking? Aren't you going to say something? Oh, hell no. Don't you dare hang up. I know you're not busy right now. How do I know? Well, genius, who would be busy at 4 a.m.? Not you, I'm sure of it. Yes, you could be sleeping, but you're not. I also know that you wouldn't be sleeping. Vampires usually don't sleep during the night, but I'm sure you know that. Come on, say something. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You don't need to hide it from me anymore. Why are you sorry? I'm pretty sure this isn't your fault. You're sorry for hiding from me? Well, it's okay. I, I know you must be scared. I am mad, but not with you. I'm mad about the situation you're in right now. I want to help you in any way I can, so let me go to your house. Yes, right now. I want to see you. I feel like you're running away from me, and honestly, I can't stand that anymore. I need to see you now. You're afraid you'll hurt me? You won't. I'm not as defenseless as you think I am, you know. I am a pretty powerful wizard. Because you're too thirsty? Wait, when was the last time you fed? Since you turned? You stopped talking to me two weeks ago. Are you really saying you didn't drink any blood for two whole weeks? God, what do I do with you? Are you trying to die for real? Should I help you die, you idiot? I am not being dramatic. Most vampires can't last without feeding at least twice a week. You must be starving right now. Yes, of course I am still going to see you. Someone needs to knock some sense into your small brain, and who would do that if not me? I will bring you some blood, so sit tight and wait for me like a good little bat. Shut up. I have no reason to listen to you. Making stupid decisions like this without telling anyone? I'm so mad right now. Yes, yes, I'll stop nagging you, because I have to hang up. But once I get there, you're going to listen to every word I have to say. Are we clear? That's what I thought. Bye. See you soon. Hey, how are you feeling? You look terrible. So, can I come in? No, I won't go away if you say I can't come in. <sighs> You're so annoying. Don't laugh. Alright. First things first, you need to get some blood in your body. Let's go to the couch. It's more comfortable. Alright. Here you go. Dinner's ready, Vampy. Bite me. What's with that look? I said I would bring you some blood. And I did. Tch. Where would I find blood bags at this hour? I am a resourceful man, but I don't do miracles. <sighs> Please, I really don't want to discuss this with you right now. Just drink it. Please. You... Did you just say that you won't drink for me because you don't want to hurt me? But you're already hurting me right now. When you don't tell me these things, it, it hurts. When you don't share your problems and your pain with me, it hurts. When you don't let me help you, it hurts me. You're... You're pale, weak, your eyes can't focus, your breath is so shallow, and you look like you're going to faint. And all that is hurting me. So physical pain, it's nothing compared to the pain you're already making me go through when you refuse to drink my blood. I'm not letting you die. Don't make me use force. I'll, I'll do it if I have to. It's not like you can stop me in the situation you're in. Nothing to say? Great. 
Now, are you going to bite my wrist, or should I slice it open for you? <sighs> all right, here it is. Do it. Take all you need. <sighs> yes, that's it. Keep drinking. Incredible. I can already see the color coming back to your face. Go on. I think you need more. There's no way you took enough. Yes, drink more. Good little bat. You look so much better. I'm relieved. I was so afraid of what was going to happen to you if you didn't feed. I was so worried. I'm glad I'm able to help you. But I do feel kind of lightheaded. But you can keep going if you need more. You can just keep going even if you don't need it. I just want to make sure you're okay. I... I love you. Oh, you had enough? Are you sure? Uh, as I said, you should drink more if you want. Okay then, if you're sure. Anyway, you look like you're alive again. That's great. You got me so worried, seriously. What? Oh, well, I said that I love you. <laughs> As a friend too, but when I said it just now, I, I meant that I have romantic feelings for you. <laughs> Look at all the blood you took from me, going straight to your face, making you all red. So cute. Since when? That's a good question. Since always, I guess. I don't quite remember, but I know it has been for a long time. I didn't say anything because we were always so busy. I was studying and training my spells, and you were living your regular human life. I just thought that we had no space for each other in our lives. As partners, I mean. There's no need to make that face. I'm not waiting for an answer or something like this, so don't worry. Wait, what? You, you love me too. You're not saying that out of pity, right? Because I, I don't want to... Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that was not a pity kiss, that's for sure. I'm laughing because I'm happy. Leave me alone. Don't, don't look at me. God, you're so annoying. Hey, can we... Can we hug? Well, of course I have to ask. Come here already. Yes, what do you want to know? How did I know that you're a vampire? Well, to be honest, I came here yesterday during the night. You were at the front door thinking about something really hard, and you turned back inside and closed the door. As soon as I saw you, I knew something about your essence was weird. Humans and other creatures have different essences. What I felt from you was dark energy. There are a lot of night creatures walking among humans, but vampires are the most common type. So I just assumed you had turned into a little ugly bat. Hey! Ow! Don't hit me! You're so much stronger now. You want to send my arm to the other side of the house? I'm not being dramatic. Look, I, I don't even feel my arm anymore. You're going to have to kiss it better. Yes, yes, you have to kiss my lips so my arm can heal. Don't question it, just do it, Vampy. Hey, now that you're feeling better, let's just sit here with our arms around each other, okay? I was gonna nag the crap out of you for trying to hide what happened from me, but I'll do that another time. I really like to be with you like this. I never expected something like this to happen, but 
I'm more happy than ever. Actually, I, I want to ask you something. What were you doing yesterday, just standing in your front door like that? Oh, that must have been hard. Being so hungry that you were tempted to just go hunt someone even if you didn't want to. But you resisted. I'm impressed. You did good, love. You did really good. But it's okay now. I won't let you starve again. We're going to take care of this. Don't you worry about me. I am a gentleman, so of course I shall save the vampire in distress. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's okay. I know things are really different now, but you'll be okay. The thirst will get more tolerable with time. Oh, it's not about the thirst? Then... You miss the sunlight? Oh, I see. I know how much you like the warmth of the sun, going to the beach, going on picnics, but it's all right. I may have a solution for that. I'll show you. Those black curtains on your window are new, right? You wanted to block the sunlight. Well, go there and take them out. Yes, I am completely serious. Take them out. That's it. Now come back here. Give me your hand. I'm going to cast a spell on you. Don't worry. Just trust me. At the beginning, there was light. And at the end, there will still be light. The sun will come soon and bring us no harm in sight. Now, we just wait for the sun. As long as you hold my hand, the sunlight won't burn you. You're safe with me. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy, love. Let's sit here and stop thinking about these problems, at least for a while. Just you, me, and the sun. I love you. <laughs>